This is the Vonage VDV22 VoIP adapter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Unink NT to program the flash through the JTAG port. This is the JTAG port 14 pins uh, standard eJTAG pinout. However, the spacing is slightly smaller and there is a missing uh, resistor, R35 is missing here. Uh, in here, I use the short wire to short the R35. The rest of the resistors are pull up resistors. You can ignore them. And to connect, uh, I soldered the pin headers this way so I can use the uh, jumper wire to connect it. You can see I'm not trying to vertically solder the wires and I slightly have an angle and only solder the uh, six pins so we can uh, use the necessary pins. So this is the ground pin and TRST pin connected and then the TDI and TDO then the clock and t uh, the TMS and the TCK. So from this angle it looks like so and the Uling Kenti comes with the jump wire cable you can easily connect to it. So now we can give the regular 12 volt to the router uh, adapter. So you can see it start trying to boot. Now let's try to detect it. And you can see we cannot get the flash properly. And now let's enter the trap arm. And once you go to the trap arm mode, then you can detect it. And the very first thing to do is try, trying to back up. So let's read the entire flash. And this is an eight megabyte flash and the read speed is about 300 kilobytes per second. In case you want to program the different image with the unlocked image, then you can put it into image one and image two here. So let's save it to just replace the backup. Okay. You can see in the configuration here, you will see the router password is router and admin password is this one, J50NUAZ. And once you have the admin password, you should be able to go to the uh, admin uh, page and do the factory reset, which will reset the admin password to something in here, which will be KBO something. And the SIP uh, account information will be somewhere around here but this is another topic for unlocking so in this video I'm going to show you um, how to debrick the device I'm going to break it purposely which is going to erase everything so this is a whole flash let's erase it in the Typical um, layout, the boot will be here, but in the MIPS here, I'm putting the boot in this area. This is 9FC00. And when it's erased, everything is erased, even the boot is erased, then the uh, device will not be able to, to use the fast programming. Let's make sure it's erased, boot is erased. Yes, it's erased. So now let me power off. And then we can power on again. And let's try to detect the flash. And we were not able to because these are the FFs. So let's reload back. And if I try to put the it to trap on, I can't because it's only go to debug on. When in debug on mode, I can only use the slow programming. I can still detect the flash and flash detect. 
So I'm going to put the boot into the flash, which I first erase boot. And then I program the boot. The LED is flashing, so it's, it's programming even though the speed does not show up immediately. So now we, we have programmed the flash and let's power off. The boot is programmed and put it on. That's still not right, but let's see if we can go to the trap on. We can. Now let's program everything. Double check and load it. So right. We can see the erase time will be 1 minute and 11 seconds, so we probably still need to wait for the erase. So the programming finished, and oh, erase finished, then programming speed is about 150 kilobyte per second, and we know the read speed is about 300 kilobyte per second, so it's, it's about half the speed of read. and it will probably take 30 to 35 seconds to program. Uh, 34 seconds programming, let's do a verification. Uh, this is a complete optional, but I think it's should be passed easily. Yeah, program pass. So in this video, we program the Vonage device here. By the way, this is MIPS uh, target. And in case of this device is break, you can fix it with the JTAG. In the meantime, if you want to unlock the device through the serial port or through the JTAG, you can also do so.